Take two. We are celebrating everything Halloween this week, and what better way to know the history of Honolulu by sharing a haunted story? Ooh, Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Kapi'olani Park with a very special guest. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Kelly. Well, here we have on take two a very special guest. This is Lopaka with the Mysteries of Hawaii, one of my favorite guests, and I always look forward to his storytelling, especially during Halloween time. Good morning, Lopaka. Aloha. Good morning. I didn't know the sun was out so early. It might start <laughs> glittering, actually. Exactly. You're kind of a only nighttime guy. Right. And you know what? We had so much fun with you back in 2019, the good old days, right? Yeah. And um, looking at your journey going into 2020, even to now, Mysteries of Hawaii has really just expanded worldwide. So if you could just tell us a little bit of the progress and also how you're sharing that Hawaiian history with people around the world. Well, in March of 2020, I, I received a certificate of recognition from the legislature as a master storyteller. And right after that, everything shut down. And so my wife actually told me, you want to be the master? Figure out how to tell stories. And so we started to go online, live every Friday, and our audience just took off. So now we've got fans as far as Ireland, New Zealand, uh, parts of Russia. It's crazy. And what really amazes people when they learn about this hidden history of Hawaii that they didn't know about? Well, that's the thing. They're completely stunned to know these little details of our history, our culture, uh, Hawaiian and local culture that they never knew before. And so that's how we piqued the interest. That's how we grew the, the fan the fan base, I guess. Yeah. And you also did a lot of different ghost tours following all the different safety guidelines. And you actually have one coming up this weekend. Yes. Uh, in fact, at the Waikiki Amphitheater, which is Saturday, 5.30 and 8.30, Chicken Skin Ghost Stories. Chicken Skin Ghost Stories. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be very intense, so it's not for the faint of heart. All right. You got to be brave for it. Any age limit that is a family friendly? Uh, 10 and under. 10 and under? Okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chicken Skin, there's actually chickens here at Kapilani Park, so it all makes sense when it comes to story time. Absolutely. But in the next half hour, you're going to share with us a story in regards to Mark Twain yep. and here at the park. And when you told me this story yesterday, I was thinking like, wait, Mark Twain has actual connection here? He's been here before to Hawaii? Oh, yeah. It was a surprise to me. I didn't know that. I think you're going to like it. Uh, we're going to like it? Yeah. All right, nice. Well, that's coming up in the next half hour. Lopaka is going to be hanging out with us. And if you want to learn more details about his upcoming tour, those chicken skin stories, you can head over to our website a little bit later today at KH12.com. Reporting from the scene here, Dallas Navarro's K 2 News, working for Hawaii. Ah, uh, looking forward to the little story. Thank you so much, Dallas. And that's so fun for Halloween week. You know, looking for something to do to mm -hmm. get you into the spooky spirit. Perfect thing. Even in broad daylight. Like that. Once he tells a story, it just gives you chicken skin. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, and we'll see that firsthand coming mm -hmm. up in a bit. But coming up next, Chris.